Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I am Sid Alpha. Now, let me start off with first apologizing for the granularity of the video you are seeing now. This is the response video from Berdiev in regards to the video that I had posted this morning. And for those of you that aren't aware, this morning I had posted an Asset Flippers video involving BC Interactive and Elusive Team, two seemingly separate entities that upon closer inspection seemed to be tied much closer together. Now, what Berdiev was attempting to illustrate here was that with his Steam login, he was unable to manage Russian Underground VR, Billiard VR, or Strongmind, which have been released on Steam by Elusive Team. However, there was one important game that he did not cover, and that was the game Escape the Island, which is an asset flip of the Unity package Depths of the Ocean by Wonder Games. Now, Escape the Island is listed on the Steam storefront as being developed and published by Elusive Team. However, somehow this game managed to end up in the BC Interactive franchise bundle that I had purchased on Steam. Now, Berdiev claims that he did work on a game with Elusive Team, and as such, he could potentially be telling the truth to a certain extent. And I have no way of independently verifying some of the details as they are buried behind the vaults that are Valve's back-end systems. However, and I'm just going to outright say it here, it doesn't matter. Now, the only purpose this would serve would be to deflect from the simple fact that every game published onto the Steam storefront by BC Interactive, Elusive Team, and Dissident Interactive, which I'm probably guessing Birdie have thought I didn't know about that one, but we'll save that for later. Now, the simple fact of the matter is, it doesn't matter if I bundled in a second development team that uh, he was only involved in one game with, or all of them because he is still involved with them and actively selling an asset flip under their name from within his franchise bundle. Now, in addition to that, it matters even less because it does not change the fact that every title posted by Berdiev is an asset flip. It does not change the fact that Berdiev is still deleting massive amounts of comments from consumers rightfully outraged at having been lied to. It does not even change the fact that Berdiev issued review code to a fellow critic and then less than an hour later revoked the key and told him to kill himself. It does not change the fact that Berdiev sees absolutely nothing wrong with lying to his customers, duping them of their hard-earned money, and then dropping the ban hammer on them once they find out in order to silence their voices from being heard by others that might purchase one of these asset flips. Even now, Berdiev is attempting to hide behind semantics even though he knows full well what he is doing. I've watched some of the old videos on Berdiev's channel. Once upon a time, he even posted videos calling out shady early access developers. Oh, how the far the righteous hath fallen, eh? But regardless, for the sake of educating those who might not be aware, I will once again answer these questions so everyone might garner a better understanding, at least to a certain extent. Now, the first question Bertie have asked is, define asset flipper. Now, before I give you the definition of what I have termed an asset flipper, let's See what some other people in the past have had to say as far as the definition is concerned. The first is, as game developers, we can buy assets made by others. These assets are usually character models, visual effects, sound effects, animations, etc. The purpose of these assets is that they are provided as a base which we have to customize our games. Some developers are just lazy and use the assets as is. They cross a line by just plugging in assets made by others to make a complete game and not make anything themselves, which results in a horrible end product. These developers usually make games with the mindset of scamming people with a misrepresented game, usually through an attractive trailer. And the second definition listed on the Quora.com site is, Someone that uses pre-made assets, character models, maps, scenery pieces like rocks, guard towers, etc., makes a game out of them and tries to sell them for a profit. Usually, the assets themselves are bought, or rather, the license to use them. And more often than not, these asset-flipped games are generally utter shit, like only 10% better than E.T. for the Atari 2600 kinds of shit. Now, the term has evolved over time to include those posting asset flips in order to farm Steam trading cards. This is big business, and given the right mindset and apparent lack of morals, one can turn a tidy profit off of these, using bot users to farm the cards and sell them in mass. Which also would explain a great deal about how these seemingly horrendous games by Berdiev can have such inexplicable numbers with so few reviews and mostly negative ratings. 
One would be able to provide keys to bot users on the cheap and then use them to farm trading cards for profit. A rather ingenious way of earning money at Valve's expense, especially considering their vast profit margin. Surely they wouldn't notice a few asset flip games with a thriving trading card economy. After all, there are so many of them on the Steam storefront, it would be easy to get lost in the crowd. Now, this is pure speculation at this point, but given the sheer numbers of users listed for these games versus their comparatively small number of reviews and their overall negative status, one would begin to wonder. But let's get back on track before I accidentally teach other asset flippers out there some new tricks. Next, Berdiev asked with seemingly feigned innocence, define minimal changes. Well, one need only look at your games to see that, sir. When you crop a few seconds of the beginning of the trailer for the asset flip that you've reposted as Space Odyssey and slapped your own logo at the beginning of it, that is minimal changes. When you look at your asset flip Space Journey and in spite of your assertions that the game was updated by you, which I would need proof of at this point, and it is still indistinguishable from the Unity assets that you had purchased, that is minimal changes. When you claim that the asset you had purchased was being used as a placeholder and while berating the real developer about quote-unquote supporting his shit, and then months later that game is posted as a completed project and it is still identical to the Unity asset you had purchased, that is minimal changes. And to top it off, Berdiev even attempted to play nice and posted the following on my YouTube video. Thanks, Sid Alpha, for such video. Especially thank you for acting mature and not acting like you have anger issues, unlike Fat Fry, to which he means Big Fry TV, a fellow YouTuber. Anyways, let me clarify once and for all. Elusive Team is not me, nor I am any longer associated with them. To prove that, check this little video out. Had to blur some things just because Steam won't be happy showing my CP to everyone. Uh-huh, sure. It shows that none of those titles are in my Steamworks panel, nor I can manage discussion forums. It is indeed sad and unexpected behavior from Elusive Team, but there is nothing I can do about it, and yet hate being called out when it is actually none of my words, comments, or even, quote, work. But as far as Dead Inside goes, you will see the progress. You will see the change. No, not the updates from an asset creator, but from me. I bet you have refunded the game, so contact me later if you wish, and I will send you the key out so you can see them changes yourself later on. Thanks for your time. Cheers. Now, those last statements speak more truth about the differences between us than anything else I could ever say here. The simple fact that Berdiev assumed that I had refunded his asset flip that he had been attempting to pawn off as his own work. The simple truth of the matter is... I don't refund games I post videos about on my channel. To do so would be nearly as dishonest as an asset flipper. I would be earning ad revenue off of the back of a product that I did not retain a legal copy of, whether it be review code or purchased copy. And there is no way in hell I would accept a review key from Berdiev anyways. He would most likely revoke it just as he did Mellow Online's. This shallow attempt at being conciliatory while at the same time bashing Big Fry TV, a fellow YouTuber whom I respect a great deal, strikes me as being particularly slimy and not one that I will be willing to go along with. Even if Berdiev had not besmirched fellow critics in the past, there is absolutely no way I could ever simply let bygones be bygones. Because at the end of the day, Berdiev is still an asset flipper. A person who willingly and willfully scams innocent consumers out of their money with no regard for the quality of the product he is putting out. And what makes it even worse in my eyes is that once upon a time, this Shinehawk actually produced videos that called out shady business practices on Steam, informing and protecting consumers, and now he is very much at the other end of that spectrum, and having been where he was, he should know better. Of course, now that I take a closer look at his video selections, I see that those videos that called out early access scammers were interspersed with these same asset flips that he is attempting to protect, and earlier videos that seem to be all about earning a quick buck, so I suppose it's no small wonder we find ourselves here now. So there you have it. There's my response, Berdiev. The ball is now in your court. What are you going to do with it? Will you do the right thing, or will you continue on this course? Stop scamming consumers. Stop deleting comments in an attempt to silence the vitriol that you very much deserve. Stop acting like the shite hawk that you have been. If you want people to take you seriously, then give them a reason to. This, ladies and gentlemen, 
is an example of an asset flipper who thinks he is in the right and thinks he can weasel his way into your good graces with a wink and a nod and doesn't understand why you're so rightfully upset. Please like and share this video. If you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe to keep up to date on the situation as it develops. There are also a lot of other very good videos on this channel, and I do hope you take a few minutes to check them out. Links to my Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, and others are in the description down below. Once again, I am Sid Alpha, and I'll see you next time.